Hey there, I'm Alex. Today I want to talk to you about Depth Anything V2. This is a research paper that came out a little while ago and it produces very high quality depth maps for images, right? So, or, or image sequences in our case. What's exciting about this is that someone took the time to convert this into a category model, right? So they, it, it needs to go through a conversion, which apparently isn't the easiest thing. I, I wouldn't know. I haven't never even attempted it. But thankfully for us, it's out there. It's open source and we can grab it and use it right now. So the name of the person that did this is uh, Rafael Perez and that's on their GitHub page. So I'm going to be posting links to both the paper and the, the Nuke release uh, on, the, on the comments below. And you can just come here on their, on their GitHub page, go under releases, and then there's all the instructions for you. So this is, this is very exciting because at first it's, I, I figured I'd just download it and give it a try. But then when I started comparing with the one we have currently, which is Midas from the Foundry, uh, it's it's just night and day. Keep in mind, this is at this point, this is a very old model, so it looks like 2020. So a lot has happened since then, and yeah, I mean, this is out there. So if if you ever use Midas, which I have in the past, and I I think in one of my old Cattery videos, I I commented how I've used it in scenes where I wanted to add fog and depth or or stuff like that. Uh, that seems to be very helpful. But the new one is just so much better that. If, if you are using Midas at all, you might as well just upgrade. And, and I, I don't see, um, I don't see where you would use Midas anymore if you have access to Depth Anything V2. So let me just hop on here and nuke. And I'm, this is not a, an extensive demo by any means, just because it's very self-explanatory. It's just you know uh, image and depth map. So, um, but I did want to show you the result of Midas. And Midas comes into you have an, an option to select two models. So you have large and small. It doesn't make a big, big difference, but sometimes the large one did produce better ones for me in my experience. Um, so here we have a plate and th these these nodes all downscale the image in the background. Unfortunately, the one from the foundry doesn't tell you the factor that it's downscaling by, but I imagine it's at least half, if not more, because it's sometimes it, it does get very a bit crunchy in, 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 in areas. So here we have the the large and the small. So I'm comparing, you see the large one is a bit sharper. Uh, you know, I, if you if you have the memory, the, the large one is the one to use. As you can see, it, it has the, some detail in the back and stuff. So that definitely, uh, if, if you're not thinking of, of trying depth anything too, at least, you know, know that Midas is there and something you can use. However, if I compare this now to the depth anything V2, you, what you're gonna see is the amount of detail is just night and day. So if we, if we just compare here, look at the hand detail right there, right? Uh, even you know the the sharp areas of where the arms meets meets the body. Again, the hand here, the background stuff. Like there's just so much stuff going on in the background now compared to before. It was just blobs mainly. So this is again very very exciting, very very high quality depth maps. A couple of things to keep in mind. So when you uh, when you follow the instructions on the GitHub, you'll just have the depth anything node as you do any other category model. So if you go depth estimation, you'll have Midas and depth anything V2. So when you bring in the node, it always comes in by default at uh, down resting the footage by half. So what I found is even with a 4090 and 128 gigs of RAM, I cannot get it to produce depth maps at full rest for 4K plates. I, it, just won't happen. I've tried so many times, I can't get it to work. So I always, I guess, whenever I'm, do, I'm using it for 4K plates, I just stick to uh, down rest by half. So that, that's what it produces. However, if I if we look at this, this is incredibly quick. I'm just gonna, you see, it just took a second and then you, you get your map. It, it's unbelievable how fast it is. So I'm changing frames here. And this is while recording the video. So of course my hardware is always also being, you know, uh, used there. Uh, but you see, it's just unbelievable how how fast and how how good it is compared to what we had before. So this is definitely a big jump. Again, if we compare this and that, it's just night and day. You can see all the detail on the glass, even the transparency. It's just wild. And the the hair on the on, on both his head and the beard. So yeah, a, a lot to like here. Um, so there there's a. It, 
you can you can open the node here and there's a, a color space uh, node here so you know play around with that depending of course on the color space of your of your image of, of your footage uh, you might want to bypass this sRGB conversion or not or you can just you know go into the group and change uh, change anything you need because at, at, at the end of the day um, it, it's just going to run inference right so there is an inference uh, an inference node in here, and that that's what's you know making <laughs> making the magic in the background. But anything else you can just adjust to your to your liking, which is also neat. So okay, I've talked about the down resing, and then you have so the view is interesting because you have this this colorized depth map just so it's easier to just see things. But if you just switch it to final result, it'll just show you your your um your plate again. However. What you'll see is that uh, when, when you do that, and I've connected this in the wrong place, when you do that, you 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 can just have you can just shuffle your depth map, right? So it's it just it just adds that channel into your mainstream. So when you render that, so in my case, I I just went ahead and, and rendered everything with the preview colors, just because it's it's nicer and easier to see. And then uh, a couple other controls you have here is the near or far controls, so you can control you know where. Uh, the the range of that depth sits usually around five six I found is pretty pretty good number I guess it depends on the scene of course and then you can invert your depth maps which is also handy so you don't have to do it after the fact if if it's something that you wanted to do and uh, I've talked about the final result bypass yeah so th that's pretty much it again not nothing nothing too crazy going on here as as all of these models that I've been covering there is no perfect temporal consistency just yet but it's not too bad so if we if i just play this back you'll see yeah there's just you know some some boiling uh, around the hair and you know not not perfect but the amount of things you can do with this is just crazy you know even considering i was using midas before this is a no brainer for me now so if you have like a jungle scene and there's stuff in depth like you can very easily just create a depth map with this and then you have you can just add fog in, into the jungle or if you have a car scene you can properly overlay um maybe even um again yeah some more fog or smoke cards uh particles so, so you know having access to a depth map that is this good is pretty exciting and like all the other um all the other tools that i've covered this is something that you can also you can also improve if you run through copycat so if you want to redo some of that of that um inconsistency and the colors you can just grab a few frames depending on your frame and just train it and i promise you you'll get a much better result but out of the box with the speed this goes at it's just awesome it's just great so i'm going to show you a few more so we have our, our classic guy here that we've seen already in a few of our videos and you can see like all that detail from the sweatshirt i'm gonna ab here right so there there's just a lot going on there the beard you know it's so so detailed come and i'm gonna go back here and make a copy of my Midas. I'm gonna grab the large one since I know it produced a better result. And I'm gonna show you this so it'll take a second. Funny enough, the old one seems to take a bit longer than the new one. Um, and you see that's, I mean, there's stuff there, but barely, right? If we compare this to that, it's just night and day, right? It's just wild how much better the new one is. Um, so, okay, at this point, I'm just gonna stop comparing to Midas. It's clear that it's, it's uh, it's not as good as the new one, but um, yeah. So moving on here, I have some more scenes for you. So I'm gonna again play this back, and you see there is some chatter, but it's not it's not too bad. It's, pre it's pretty decent considering it's it ha it kind of calculates in a couple seconds. Um, and again, this I believe yeah, this is a, an HD plate, so I didn't need to use the down rest. I just kept it at full rest. Uh, but yeah, pretty good. All right, so let me show you a few more here. So we have this bear here sitting, chilling on a rock. So if I play that back, you'll see we have all that fair detail in the background. If we look at the depth map, it's pretty good, all things considered. Like there's there's some some chatter, some boil there, but it's it's just night and day to what we had before. And if you look here, we have the the stuff really uh, out of focus in the background, and it does a pretty good job just keeping it there. So yeah, very very good. And if if we if you compare this to to the old one, like you can see this one's we stop down here you see it has all that fur detail in it whereas before with the Midas model it was just you know just basically the sh more or less the shape right like there, there was some volume to it but nothing like this it's just incredible um, let me show you a few more so I have the city city shot here and again just train going to the back 
and this is one that you can probably very easily train with copycat seeing as there's you know very little very little going on but still very good to see uh oops, lost myself here we go and then we have our surfer couple here and this one's really good like i think this one's very very good there's so much going on and it does a very good job of capturing everything uh see so i think have a couple more it's good so we have car and you see how it respects all the branches uh there is some flicker because there's there's an aggressive lens flare and and you know the sun is coming in and out of the shot but still there's a lot you can do with this and finally i think it's the last one so we have this shot with three motorcycles pretty good so yeah this is this is incredible like i i'm i'm floored I, I would go ahead and, and pick this up <laughs> the moment you get a chance because it runs very, very easily. It runs buttery smooth. Um, and it's just leaps and bounds ahead of what we had before. So definitely go and check it out. Uh, again, I'll be posting the links for Paper, the GitHub for, for the Gizmo uh, in, the, in the description below. All right, cheers.